What's up guys and welcome to episode 6 of Caleb's Collecting Corner. I'm going to be doing a review today of a custom action figure for the first time. It's from the WWF Hasbro line. It was originally scheduled for the Orange Card series that never ended up getting produced. But due to customizers being out there, there's been tons and tons of customs of Diesel. I've never seen one this awesome and I had to purchase it. I actually purchased a few more from the same guy. And they all look awesome. Uh, the original figure concept art actually had shown that it was going to be Papa Shango's body and then just with a brand new head, which was Big Daddy Cool Diesel's. But let's go ahead and get into the figure. All right, let's check out the figure. He's got some sunglasses on. He's got that sweet mullet hairdo, his mustache and goatee. He's got Diesel written on his singlet that he would wear underneath his pants. The figure is actually not wearing pants because he, uh, the Pop Shango figure didn't actually wear uh, the long baggy pants like Diesel. But due to the figure being so tall, I believe the reason they used Papa Shango's body. He's got two elbow pads, uh, the signature glove he would always wear, and black wrist tape. Go ahead and spin the figure around so you can take a better look at that head sculpt. That awesome mullet. Here is a comparison with the reused body that they were going to reuse. And you can obviously tell it's just the same. Check that out there. It would have the same punching action. Here is a comparison to the diesel figure that was released by Mattel. That was part of the retro line, which I was really happy to see come out. He actually has the long tights. But I think that the one they were going to produce by Hasbro just looks so much better. I personally really, really love this custom. Here's the back of one of Zombie Sailor's cards for his pins. And you can actually see the concept art of Diesel's head. And up here is a better picture. And just the likeness to the custom is just uncanny. It's so close. Here is a picture of the concept art of the entire line that Zombie Sailor put on a t-shirt and you could just see what they would look like when they were fully colored and just an awesome line. Alright guys, so that was the review of Big Daddy Cool Diesel custom figure that was scheduled for the Orange Card series at Sadly, was never produced. Uh, the only thing that ever turned up that I've seen online is a two-up head of him. There's never been a complete figure. So watch eBay because this guy continues to put out figures and sell them. Also, if you were interested in the shirt I'm wearing, I don't believe Zombie Sailor has them anymore. And also this hat came out from Zombie Sailor as well. He produces a lot of cool pins, sells them on his website. I'll be leaving that in the description down below. Go check out his stuff. He sells a lot of vintage figures on his website. And thanks for checking out this episode of Caleb's Collecting Corner. And I'll be doing a review on a couple other customs from this guy I had purchased. And also, we'll be doing a review of one custom from the line that I did myself. And check that out later on. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time on Caleb's Collecting Corner.